Hey guys, so as many of you know, I deleted my Facebook account several years ago uh, for pretty much all of the reasons. Um, I'm not a biggest fan of social media in general. I don't like how it disconnects us more than connects us as people, uh, especially when it comes to discussions around things like controversial subjects. It's always worth having a face-to-face -face conversation about those kind of things. But I also don't like how it um, just gathers so much user data and then effectively uses it to tailor ads to the point where it's really just exploitation. Uh, not to mention, of course, that it's a big security hazard as well. Having that much information about you um, that is accessible by people that can even just claim to be your friends is, well, it's a significant point of failure. And in fact, Facebook is uh, one of the only place is the only place online where people who have tried to actually steal money from me have actually managed to succeed. Now, thanks to the security offerings at PayPal, I managed to walk away without actually losing any serious amount of money. But it certainly opened my eyes at the time how dangerous social media can be when it comes to um, our presence on the internet. So I deleted my Facebook account some time ago, and to be honest, I haven't looked back. It's nice not just to ha not it's nice just not to have that in my life. However, I did then make more use of Twitter as um, as a bit you know I sort of moved on as it were. And Twitter again, of course, as many of you guys know, isn't without its problems. So I did quite like it because it's one of those platforms where you're not expected to divulge every bit of information about yourself. It's just a bit of status updates. And of course, I've never been happy with it, never being an open system in really any way, not in terms of open source. Uh, and it does seem that the company themselves hold all of the cards. Uh, so it has this fundamental problem that most social networks have where everything you say comes at their permission. You need that company's permission to use their service to speak with people that you know. And something about that has never sat right with me. Not when it was on Facebook, not when it's on Twitter, not when it's on any other uh, social network. So uh, I've recently been making a lot of use on Mastodon or more specifically Linux Rocks. So Linux Rocks, which you can get to at linuxrocks.online, is a part of the Mastodon slash GNU social network. And the the whole network, which is often lovingly called the Fediverse, is this huge network of lots of different instances of social media that all link together in this sort of big kind of union, um, but also maintain the small corner of independence themselves. So like I say, I'm on Linux Rocks, which, uh, as you might um, expect, is, is really focused around people talking about uh, their enthusiasm for Linux, which again is somewhere where I feel very much at home. And, you know, we talk amongst ourselves, but also have access to this entire universe of other people. And I just wanted to do a quick video to uh, sort of introduce Linux Rocks to you and talk about my experiences in the Fediverse, because I think that in terms terms of social media, I certainly felt like I've entered it more on my terms. Now, there are like big instances that you can join, but in many cases, they're just a like for like comparison of Twitter. Joining a small but specific specialized instance allows you to become more uh, comfortable and familiar with the community that you're engaging in, while at the same time having readily accessible bridges to people from all walks of life all around the world. However, when you just take a look at the federated timeline, which is just taking, in many ways, I feel that it's kind of like looking directly into the sun. And if you're going to make use of the federated timeline, um, I my, my key word of advice there is to, to make liberal use of the mute button. There is a lot of uh, noise. And when you want to try and distill some signal to noise ratio that's a bit more usable for you, you th I think it's worth muting a rather large number of people. And I'm sure you'll see why <laughs> once I get that. It's not necessarily that, um, uh, you, you, you know, it's not necessarily like unpleasant people or bullies or anything that you're muting. It's just um, being able to curate a feed that's a little bit more bearable for you to read. However, this is where the importance of choosing your like local instance on this social network really comes uh, into play here. Uh, you know, sort of uh, using linuxrocks.online as my sort of home instance allows me to have a look at the local timeline where what other people on this instance are saying. And I've got to say, the people who I've decided to um, to adopt as neighbours, as it were, are absolutely delightful. Many of you guys on this channel, in fact, uh, are a part of Linux Rocks Online, as well as many of the people from the Jupiter Broadcasting community. So uh, there's a lot of friendly faces there. If you're looking for a good point of entry into the Fediverse, into uh, the 
the world of federated social networks. Uh, I will put a link to that instance down in the description below. But it's a good place to get a hold of me now because I, I gotta say, I've not been a fan of Twitter as of late. It just seems to be in a bit of a death spiral, doesn't it? So uh, whereas a lot of people I know still use Twitter, I've decided to sort of close off my account and use it more as an instant messaging feature for like friends and family who, um, you know, are difficult to contact otherwise or, you know, just tend to favor the platform so it's the easiest way to contact them uh, and to actually use uh, Linux rocks as my primary form of like social media especially when it comes to talking about Linux and I've got to say people seem more engaging about it as well when you've got like um, uh, when you've got a, a specific instance for specific um, communities or conversation topics um, the people there are there for that um, community and for those reasons um, and of course in these kind of networks there are a lot of techie people like us so we generally find a lot of friendly neighbors but um yeah it's definitely a little bit more of the wild west in terms of social media than you might expect from very curated social networks and siloed social networks at times um but in that in that way it kind of reminds me of what social networks were 10 years ago when they were actually a little bit more fun and people didn't take them as seriously um so uh, anyway, that's just my recommendation. That's just a few of my idle thoughts on ramblings on the Fediverse and specifically on Linux Rocks. Uh, and it's where I spend a lot of time hanging out on these days. So if you guys want to just chat Linux, you know where to find me now. Thanks very much for watching. That's about it from me today. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.